Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you all to our Sustainable Food Summit here in Amsterdam. I got invited to give the, the opening keynote speech here. I like that there was a strong focus on regenerative agriculture. I also like that it kind of brings together the organic and the regenerative agriculture movement, which is, I think, very needed. And in general, it's always good to come to these events where kind of a lot of LinkedIn connections can turn into personal connections. So today I'm here to talk to you about uh, single-use plastic and how we get out of it. I think that if you're here today, I won't have to go in depth on why we need to get rid of single-use plastic. If someone can tell me what percentage of baked goods are wasted in the UK market, anyone want to throw out a statistic? What percentage are wasted? Yeah, at the back? 70%. 70 that's, that's too high, that's punchy. Um, no one ever goes too high from the outset. You can tell this is like sustainable geeks. Um, yeah. 40%, we're getting close. We, uh, participants, uh, we have a dream. We have the dream to change the world. But we can't do it if we stay at our home or, you know, if you, we only surf on, on the web. Uh, the summit is uh, the good occasion to share experience, to share point of view, and, uh, you know, to build a great community. I would definitely encourage other colleagues in the field to, to join this summit because it's one of the leading summits uh, here in Europe uh, on relev relevant themes, on legislation that's coming up, but also on topics such as positive regenerative practices and what that's all about and having a proper discussion around that. Um, so all the relevant teams that you need for, uh, for the future. Common Lands is a system builder of holistic landscape restoration and we do that based on the four returns framework. It's based on the idea that if you have a degraded landscape then we see uh, four kinds of losses. So we see a uh, natural loss of natural ecosystems but also a loss of uh, economic opportunities, um, a loss of social value to the landscape and finally we see a loss of inspiration. And the, Four Returns Framework says that you can turn those around to Four Returns. As I saw that later on today there will be speaker on, uh, on sustainable supply chains and also re uh, deforestation. Well, cocoa is typically a product that, uh, that is heav heavily under scrutiny uh, currently for, uh, for deforestation. So for us this also was a combination of different factors that it made, made a lot of sense of, uh, of getting this uh, regenerative organic certified. The key message of my talk uh, today uh, was mostly that we see a good future for regenerative organic certified products because it includes not only the agricultural aspect but also social and natural aspects. For the very clear presentation, I have two questions. What do you think would be like the next step to break up, to break this open this situation? <laughs> <laughs> it's as far as you know, you can say that. Well, about our journey in Unilever um, from sustainable sourcing which started in 2010 to regenerative agriculture which began in 2021 and the work that we're doing through all of our, our work streams between implementing, measure report, validate, funding and creating value and the real importance of partners across the entire stream. So every single supplier we work with has to adhere to our social code, our human rights code and our nature code and then on top of that when we move to um, do the transition to sustainable and regenerative agriculture then of course they have to adhere to those codes and that does remain the same for our smallholder farmers and our and our collaborative so we have the same standards across the entire board in the past year we we discussed a lot with organic fair trade and now with time the event has opened also to uh, what is surrounding this the food system and uh, this year in particular i think that the uh, we tackled the right topics but they're really the hot topics about regenerative agriculture biodiversity, 
uh, zero deforestation and so these is our key topics of the, these decades and we need to fix yeah, so what brought us to the uh, into this industry is that uh, there's three of us that co-founded it. As a group, we're keen, passionate environmentalists and beer drinkers. I was a home brewer, made a lot of beer at home. And when we learned that you could brew really great beer using surplus bread, which is the biggest food waste item, we thought that's a no-brainer. Let's brew great beer, tackle the issue of food waste, donate the profits to charity and fix the system by drinking lots of beer. So, common language, how do we understand each other? Interconnectedness, this system, you know, punch one bit and another piece drops out. We've, we've solved our problem through narrow diff definitions, how do we hold on to the whole? And I think at the Capitals Coalition what we intend to do is that we really try to help people to navigate the wave of biodiversity, natural capital, etc. I guess what, what we're talking about here is um, is about the kind of the ultimate kind of outcomes for biodiversity in terms of ecosystem health and condition and species population. So that is as, as a background, but what I really want to talk about is our biodiversity barometer. Um, this is consumer research we've been doing since 2009 about awareness on uh, the issue of biodiversity. I, I think it really it's, we're trying to bring consumers and customers one by one by you know educating them again and, and it resonates with them oh we're, we're doing it right we're doing it well they can have benchmark data and can build on it and that's another way how we can uh, incentivize the farmer to provide the right data because if they don't provide the right data then the benchmark report is not very useful this year we talked about regenerative agriculture and nature positive methods and we talked about how we can move towards food production methods which are better for human health, better, better for ecosystems and also better for nature. And one of the key things that came out of the summit was that there's no clear definition of regenerative agriculture, of nature positive methods and about sustainable foods. And that's one of the issues that we want to discuss going forward. How can we have a bit more clarity in terms of these definitions of nature positive, regenerative agriculture and sustainable foods, as well as environmental labeling?